I can report to the American people and to the world that the United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden. It began last August. New leads came to light about the possible whereabouts of Osama bin Laden. It was far from certain, and it took many months to run this thread to ground. I met repeatedly with my national security team as we developed more information about the possibility that we had located bin Laden hiding within a compound deep inside Pakistan. The key lead, tracking down one of the few couriers trusted by bin Laden. That courier's movements led U.S. intelligence to this compound in Abbottabad, a mansion on three floors, high security walls, a place built to hide someone important. Planning intensified within the past few weeks with the president chairing five National Security Council meetings, the final one Thursday last week. The following day at 8.20 a.m., as the president prepared to leave the White House for Alabama, President Obama gave the go-ahead for a mission that had been rehearsed for months. On Sunday, national security staff worked all day on the operation. A senior administration official says at 2 p.m., the president met with his senior staff to review final preparations. At about 4 p.m. Eastern Sunday, just after midnight in Pakistan, a team of Navy SEALs in helicopters raided the compound. Administration officials called it an especially dangerous operation. Local residents spoke of intense gunfire. A small team of Americans carried out the operation with extraordinary courage and capability. Bin Laden resisted and was killed in the firefight, according to one source, shot in the head. The whole operation was carried out in less than 40 minutes. Along with Bin Laden, three other men were killed. U.S. officials believe one was Bin Laden's adult son. A woman was killed when used by one of the men as a human shield. There were no U.S. casualties, but a U.S. helicopter was destroyed by its own crew after a mechanical failure. At 7 p.m., the president learned there was a high probability the high-value target was Osama bin Laden. Drew Griffin, CNN, Atlanta.